Connecting your camera to your computer, it's easy. And just by following a few simple steps, in a couple of minutes, you can connect just about any camera to your computer and get high quality video like this. And the thing is, it's not expensive, but there are a few little things that you need to know to make it work and get the quality to create video like this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the two quick ways to connect your camera to your computer and why it doesn't have to be hard or expensive, even if tech isn't your thing. I'll share the cheap add-on that gives studio quality video and makes it even easier to connect your camera and your mic. It even lets you record directly to your computer, like I'm doing now. And I'm gonna tell you why looking good on video is actually a lot easier and cheaper than you think when you use a simple bit of software. And this is the dirty little secret that all the YouTubers use. Connecting a camera to your computer it's a pretty smart move. The quality of your video, well, it's gonna be so much better than with one of those cheap webcams. And for this demonstration, I'm gonna be using the Sony ZV-10, which is a low cost camera, but one that still gives excellent results. In fact, I'm using one now, but pretty much any modern mirrorless or DSLR camera can do this, but for the money, I think the Sony ZV-E10, it takes some beating. In fact, if you want to see all the budget gear that I use and how to set it all up, I've included it in a PDF and I'll put a link below. Now there's two ways to connect a camera. We can use USB or we can connect via HDMI. And we'll go over why there are two options and how to decide if USB or HDMI is gonna be the best option for you because there's some pretty big differences as you'll see. But to start with, Let's go USB, and it's really simple. Equipment wise, all we need is, well, a USB cable like this. And of course, it's worth getting a decent quality cable. Now, if your camera and computer support USB-C, great, and that's those little oval connectors. But if not, if you're using, say, the older style of USB cable, just make sure it's USB 3. That's the one with the blue insert. If it's the older USB, the USB 2 with the white insert, it's going to reduce the resolution of your video and we don't want that. And when you've got your cable, all you need to do is plug the USB cable into your computer. Now, before we plug the other end into the camera, because we're connecting via USB, we need to change a couple of the settings in the camera. So I'll open the menu on the ZV-E10 and this is pretty much the same for all cameras. In the case of Sony cameras like the ZV-E10, we navigate to network and under PC remote, we want to turn that on. Now, even when we've done that, some applications still won't work with the camera. So what we have to do, we have to come back into the menu and then we have to find the setting to turn on USB streaming. And on the ZV-E10, this is under the camera two menu. Now it's worth mentioning that each time you turn your camera on, you'll also have to turn on USB streaming. And that's it. You've now turned your camera into a webcam. But, and here's the thing with USB. Well, there's a couple of issues. First, the video quality. Well, it's not quite as good as on HDMI, which we're gonna be coming to next. In fact, HDMI, it's, it's a little bit easier to set up. On the left is the image via USB. And on the right is the image via HDMI. And you can see the difference. The color on the HDMI is better and the image is, is sharper. But, and here's the big issue with USB. You can't pass audio to your computer via USB. So then you're gonna need to plug in your mic separately to your computer and then you've gotta sync the audio and the video up, which is just another step. If we want better quality video, be able to bring in audio and video together and not have any, any messing about, then what we need to do, we need to go HDMI. Using HDMI, it also allows you to record videos like this directly to your computer without having to mess about with SD cards and transferring video files. Now, fortunately, most cameras also come with a HDMI output. And this is gonna give you the, the best quality, but it's also gonna allow you to pass both audio and video. And what's more, the audio and video, well, they're gonna be in sync. Using HDMI, we can get far higher quality video. We can actually get up to 4K, which makes a big difference. Using the USB, the ZV-E10, 
Well, it'll only put out 720, which is like so 1990s. Now, some cameras, higher-end cameras, they've got a full-sized HDMI output, but most have a micro HDMI port. So you'll need a micro HDMI to full-size HDMI lead, or you can get an adapter like this. We plug the HDMI lead into the camera. Now, here comes the point of confusion for many, because they may have an HDMI port on the computer. So they'd think, as you would, that you could just plug the HDMI cable lead from your camera into this port. Nope, it won't work. This is HDMI output only. To connect the HDMI cable from our camera into our computer, what we need is an HDMI to USB adapter. And yes, you can get these for as little as $10 on Amazon, but I wouldn't. Not to put too fine a point on it, well, these are crap. They claim to be 4K, but the, the ones I've tested, they're nowhere near. So I'd highly recommend that you get something that will actually output 4K, and it's reliable. Something like the Elgato Cam Link. To connect this, we just plug in the HDMI lead into our camera, and then the other end, we plug that into the, into the Cam Link, and then we plug the Cam Link into our computer. And now we've got 4K video. And we've also got audio and video synced. So if I now come over here to Zoom, I'll come down to Settings, and then under video, under camera, I could select my cam link 4K, which is there. And to prove that we've also got audio, if I come over here to audio and I select that, under microphone, I could scroll down and there you can see the cam link. So it's bringing in both video and audio into Zoom. Now, what I would highly recommend if you're going to be doing this is get yourself a plug-in dummy battery. I mean, you don't want to be reliant on your battery in your camera it going flat as you're on camera, as you're presenting. But, and here's the thing, we can take this to a different level, a whole new level. We can use eCap. Now, sorry, PC users, this is a Mac-only application, but if you're on a Mac, eCap, it's an amazing program. I'll be here for a week telling you what it can do. But when you're using your camera like this, when you've connected your camera to your computer, it gives you a degree of control over the look. I can come here, I can zoom in if I want. That's a bit scary, I'll, I'll put that back. I can adjust the look of the video. I can adjust the audio levels. I've got control over the audio levels there. I can adjust the brightness in my video, the temperature, the tint, the saturation, the gamma. I can control, control all these here if I want to do like that. I can even add LUTs. Now, LUTs stands for lookup table. Basically, it's just a preset. You can apply it to give your video a certain look. I'm using one here at present. It's And this eCam is what I'm using to record now. I'm recording directly into my computer, but it does so much more. I can bring in multiple cameras. I can add multiple audio sources. I can use it when I'm on Zoom, Facebook, YouTube, in fact, anywhere. I'll be here all week telling you what this application can do. But when you're on camera, particularly if you're shooting video on your own, it's got tools that allow you to adjust the video on the fly while you're presenting. And using the controls in Ecamm, you can monitor and control both your video and your audio. But that doesn't even touch the surface of what this application can do. And if you want to find out more about Ecamm, I'll put a link below to a free demo. Now, connecting your camera to your computer, as you've seen, it isn't that hard. But what is important is how you connect your mic. And if you want to see how you can connect pretty much any mic directly to any camera, even USB mics, and use a trick so your audio is always perfect, then you're going to want to watch this video next.